Well, this is pretty unique, this story right here. I've never heard nothing like this in my life. So, here you go. As told by the BBC. Spare a thought for the South African runner, Casta Semenya. Gold medalist in Berlin in the women's 800 meters. But she awaits the results of a gender test to establish that she really does qualify as a woman. Speak to BBC Athletics commentator Mike Costello. You heard him actually in the mashup earlier on, as a matter of fact. Um, Mike, it's, this came up earlier after a previous run, and it takes a surprisingly long time to establish someone's gender. Yes, it does. And we were talking last night to the British athlete Jenny Meadows, who won a bronze medal behind Semenya in the final of the 800 metres. And she said that there'd been suspicions about Semenya when she was training in South Africa earlier this year. But the issue came to international prominence only three weeks ago when Semenya won the world, the African Junior Championships in Mauritius in astonishing times. And my impression is that behind the scenes, the world governing body, the IAAF, put some gentle pressure on the South African Athletics Authorities to leave Casta Semenya at home while this whole matter was resolved because we were hearing at the post-race press conference last night from a delegate from the IAAF that these tests could take days, they could even take weeks and this has left a cloud not only over the 800 metres but over the championships too. Well what does a gender test consist of, do you know? Well all they said to us last night was that the type of test that they would be uh, undertaking would be con confidential. We spoke earlier in the evening to Kelly Holmes, who won a gold medal over this distance in Athens in 2004, and she said that occasionally during her career she had been subjected to gender tests, which involved nothing more than a, a swab being placed beneath the tongue. But this is going to be a whole range of tests, physical, laboratory tests, and many others. And, and the IWF said last night that in the interest and, and, and uh, for the benefit of the athlete at this stage, they're going to remain confidential. All right, Mike, thank you very much indeed. Isn't that kind of um, toe up? They want to do different tests on this person than they do on anybody else. See what I'm saying? When I can go in a whole bunch of different directions with this. First of all, they sound like they want to experiment on this girl because she beat everybody else. She beat the Germans. She beat the German women. Hmm. What's up with this? We need to experiment on her. I bet you after they do these tests, it won't be too much long after this person dies. Or something. She be sick or something. Can't run no more. See what I'm saying? I mean, if the lady beat your lady's racing, all of a sudden now, is it a man? Is it a man? Because... Cause because you got beat? Sound like sour grapes. But um, I don't know. I saw this person run. And I watched the race, you know, on the internet. I have seen women that look like men before. They have a lot of them here in this country, too, that look like women that look like men. Some by choice, and some just are born that look like men. I said it. Let's not throw this person under the bus for beating everybody they race. Shattering records. Destroying records. This black woman's accomplishments don't mean nothing, do they? You need to check, make sure this is a woman. What you need to do, go get pregnant or something? You look at the way people look. And you think, we look the way we look. People say we're trying to look European. We look this way because we've been around these people for 400 years plus. Feel me? They've been over in Africa, burning up in the sun, struggling to survive, eating dirt. Dry, wet, barren for the same amount of time we've been over here and forever. 
course she gonna look different. Not all of those women look like Eritrean women or, or those models that come from certain places in Africa. You know what I'm talking about. If you see that race, the blonde chick looked like she had a damn Adam's apple. The one that came in second, that's, yes, they need to just, uh, there's some doubts. There's some doubts in everybody who got a steroid. I said it. Enhancements. All these sports is to try to beat the next person. It's a competition. It's at the high end. These people's doing it. Worldwide stage. Could be a man. I'm watching the race. I'm feeling bad. I'm looking down. Like, man, man. I think that's a woman. But I've watched Maury. Oh, well, Maury, you can't tell sometimes. So what should happen? Should this person be subjected to uh, prodding? I don't know. It's none of my business. I used to think I was a quick runner as a kid. Take my shoes off and run down a hot sidewalk through the projects all the way up to the store. Spend my dollar and fifty cents. Come on home with a bunch of candy. Barefooted all the way. Those was the good old days. Going to Memphis on vacation, running barefoot down the street, hot street, as it rains and it's 97 degrees outside. Just like in Hawaii. So, whatever this person is, or this lady is, it's kind of funny. You, you do something tremendous and now your total existence has got to be checked. I'm glad there's no aliens walking around you know amongst us out in the open. Y'all can imagine something happening it's like check and see if he's really a human. You know what I mean? It's like then you be poked on and prodded on for six weeks and shit. Oh you're okay. Go home. You don't know what the hell they stuck in your arm or, or rubbed on your leg to check or hormone test. Oh, we just need to take some blood and put something on the needle and stick it in your arm. Don't need as much as they used to in back in the days. Just, just dip the needle in something and then stick it in your arm and draw your blood out. You don't know what the fuck that didn't gave you. Oh, we're just going to give you a little sedative so you can sleep and we can check your ovaries, ma'am. I mean, come on. If it was somebody who had an operation, I guess you could uh, ultrasound the stomach or something or the area down there to just make sure it's women's parts. And I don't. I'm not a medical doctor, but if I had the technology, I wouldn't have to be a medical doctor. All I need is a book to know what to look at and put the thing across the stomach and get the ultrasound and bam, humans are not stupid. It's easy for a person to self-teach. It's easy for a person to self-preach. But when you have to prove what sex you are just to continue to do what you do. Now, um, in my little investigation and listening to these little stories, this one lady said she had been checked a couple times. What the hell you got to check somebody's sexuality? than once for I don't know so I'm glad I don't do sports for these people in sports when everything is a win or a loss do your best it don't matter and maybe there will be a time where there's co-ed sports and only the cream of the crop will survive women playing football basketball whatever with men wrestling boxing whatever there will be a day when the playing ground is equal. By looking at this woman, you can tell that women are evolving in a direction that's not too pretty. You've been too.